Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into one of the feature related to document automation and that's test mode. How to run your document automation process in test mode. So what exactly is document automation test mode? To put it simply, it's an environment that is designed to help you experiment with different settings for your learning instance. Think of it as a sandbox that allows you to run and test your learning instances before moving to production. So before trying out that feature, you must be thinking like why to use test mode? So why this is so important? Well, test mode allows you to improve your data extraction, experiment with different settings, different options of extraction, and then it tracks changes automatically and gives you an option to run your previous version as well. So it can track all your changes, compare results across versions, and it helps in your quick testing cycles eventually which, which will lead to a faster development experience so now let me go to document automation and let's try to create one learning instance i'll call it as a test mode li learning instance and i'll keep it all the settings defaulted to invoice and so and so right let me click on next and this is how i create a learning instance and you notice that the little toggle here for test mode. If you enable this, you get an option for your learning instance. Your learning instance is enabled in test mode. Let me create it. So now you can see a small little icon here and here there are versions. So once one, uh, once you run your testing and you test your learning instance, uh, the, the however testings you perform and then you change, um, change your uh, model right change the way uh, how you extract data then there will be different different versions created and then you have options to process directly the documents from here then view status and here you have the your learning instance information you can tweak it from here as well you can try different options locking the feedback and changing the generative uh, AI options from here so let me go here again and since this is a invoice i'll go here and click on one of the invoice and process it directly and it is it will be my version one so let me go here and select it select any one of the sample invoice and say process document so now this will be processed and i can see the status from here and this is my request if you can see it's in progress here so all the documents that are processed in test mode will all be automatically moved to validation queue because you can you are performing you are testing it right it's in the the instance is in test mode so this feature will ensure that developers whoever are building this they analyze each and every extract, extraction result and whatever improvement and fine tuning they can do they can perform here you see the extraction is completed and uh, you can see the um, it in validation queue right and it has hi highlighted few of the feedback that you can work on correct them and again submit and reprocess so in that case you have tested your extraction once and again if you submit and reprocess it you will get another version here as per your executions and now if you wish that you have performed a lot of iterations and you have five five different versions or ten different versions and now you feel that your uh, learning instance is able to extract properly then what you can do is you can toggle off the test mode and save it so that your learning instance is no longer available in test mode and the test mode is disabled and then from here you can run it and process it as you do normally so guys in summary Document automation test mode is an essential feature for refining your extraction and document processing automations. It will help you to refine your extraction accuracy, experiment with different settings available within the LI, and you can easily revert between the versions, right? Those all options are available. Test mode is your go-to feature if you are seriously looking for optimizing and improving the performance of your document extraction. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more automation insights and AI insights. Let me know in comments how you find this test mode feature useful and how you plan to use it in your project. And what went well, what didn't went well, please let me know that as well. Thank you so much. See you soon.